Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how we can easily use Kaspersky password manager. There are actually two ways how we can do it, even three ways. You can use it for your browser or you can use it for your computer notebook or also you can use it for your mobile. So that's like I'm going to make a tutorials on uh, right now on desktop version, then I will look on how we can use it on your browser and then how we can also combine it with your extension. So just if you didn't create account yet just create account that on Kaspersky password manager right here and just get a free version and this is how you started it now when you got it and when you come here to the your browser or your application you have all entries here where you can add websites then you can add application so if you have application on like steam I can do it then I can go like with the bank card, documents, address, notes, or password check. So these are the few ways how we can actually do it. Now what you can do is just go for website, add a website. I will just add here website address. I will add here my login, like facebook.com. And I will just add here my password. And I can also enable auto login or disable it. It's like really up to you. I'll click add here. Or you can add like more logins if you want to. If you have like multiple accounts that you can like switch between. Click save here. And now when we have it, look at this. I have Facebook right here. And when I would come to Facebook, I can have, look at this. Oh, I have, <laughs> I need to disable As you can see, it's automatically going. I have one password on two because I made a tutorial on it. It will automatically add it right here. I can leave feedback and simply add a login. It will automatically login me and voila, this is how you do it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Everyone can do it, right? So then you can also add application or add a bank card. And what I really like about Kaspersky Password Manager, how simple it is. Also addresses if I want to. And when someone is going to ask me for address, I can simply like fill this out. Now, to use this also for your browser, it's the same. You can simply add here entries, add a website, and website address, website name, login, password, and voila, you got it. You can also buy, go with a premium and you're going to have more more accounts if you want to but this is pretty much it how we do it so if you have any questions guys ask me down in comments i don't know what else should i show you and how we can use it because like using kaspersky is really easy you have the master password that you need to have like saved is the most important thing but let's go even further and let's check like application here so add an application I can go with the Steam and again login. I will go here. Password. And I have two accounts actually. Click save. And now as you can see, it's automatically two entries here. So when I would exit Steam and I'm going to start now the game. Look at this. Voila. And it's not working for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, I will need to find it then. In games, I think I have it in Steam. Steam X safe. Maybe now it'll work. Hmm. Interesting. For some reason, it doesn't interact with me. I need to set it up something. Oh, I know. I will just need to edit it. So, Steam, open file location. 
So I would just need to add this thing here. Hmm. Yeah, I should have used different different program for tutorial, not this one. But this is pretty much it how we do it. So we just need to actually find the location of the program and I have some kind of problems with it. But this is pretty much it how we can use Kaspersky. It's a really simple program. So thank you very much everybody for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See you.